number one, most important is your actual video content. So the videos you're going to be creating. And uh, I think this is where a lot of brands can stumble because they perhaps are creating content that maybe matches a 30 second TV commercial, uh, or they're creating just the same kind of 30 second commercial spot and not using video or editing in it or editing video in a way that's going to be helpful or actually get shared on these different platforms. So having a really core content strategy is a great place to start. Uh, and the other thing is coming up with sort of a repeatable format. So something that you can do uh, on a consistent basis, because if you want a consistent audience, you need consistent content. And that can be a real sticking point for brands because they see video as something that has to be a, a big production, uh, use a lot of resources or you know, outside employees. But the, the tools and the types of videos you can create nowadays in-house uh, can rival some of the things you'll end up paying for uh, from you know, larger production companies. So you can take things like your presentations or speeches or webinars, things like this, and create a you know, treasure trove of more consistent content for, for YouTube. So I'll talk a little bit about that even within our, our session today. But next pillar I like to focus on for my clients is once we have a content plan, we want to look at, uh, on the, in the case of YouTube, YouTube as a search engine. So how, do, how are we going to get our content discovered when people search for it? on the number two, uh, second biggest search engine next to Google. And we also look at how to use YouTube as a platform because you can optimize things within YouTube to better direct viewers uh, and get them to take the action you want them to take at the end of a video. So knowing how to add annotations, clickable hotspots, or interactive cards to your video are going to take that viewer and turn them into an engager or clicker that goes to your site and take some kind of action. So. Uh, that's the optimization pillar, and those are the types of things we'll focus on there. And promotion really goes hand in hand with that content pillar. If uh, they say if content's king, then promotion is queen. So having that promotion plan in place for the first 24 to 48 hours uh, when your video goes live, especially if it's a big, um, you know, top of the pyramid type video, uh, you're going to have that plan set up, or at least have something repeatable that you can do for each new video launch. Uh, is something that's so important uh, to have in place. And then lastly is the community pillar because people don't always understand or brands especially don't realize that YouTube is also a social network and not just a place where you broadcast videos. So having a comment moderation plan in place can help you grow your subscriber base by you know, 5x because they actually see someone responding uh, to comments and, and actively managing that channel. But there's also a ton of people that are making videos around similar topics just based out of passion. So knowing how to find those people and how to connect with them, you can get other people in the YouTube community to collaborate or create content with or for you if you know who to reach out to and you know, if you can find interesting collaboration ideas. So that's the, the overview of those four pillars. So it's content, optimizing your video, promoting it, and then supporting it with actual you know, comment moderation and community involvement.